Good afternoon, this is Chef Reese again. Uh, I'm outside today. It's not, a bright, it's not a bright sunny day, but it's nice enough to grill. So I'm gonna grill, uh, I'm gonna grill some steaks. A steak, I'm gonna grill uh, 11 oaks, uh, ribeye steak, ragu ribeye steak uh, from 11 oak farms. Uh, it's probably about, I'll show you in a second what it is. It's about, a, you know, about an inch and a half thick. Weighs about 24 ounces, somewhere around there. And you can get those at Lemon Oaks Farms. Uh, they provide, they sell so many other things. Some of ground beef, uh, Lemon Oaks ground beef, uh, all kinds of meats, all kinds of steaks. You name it, short ribs, pretty much you name it. So go see Todd down at Lemon Oaks for this gorgeous steak or any other meaty item you need. As, as I said, this Wagyu, this uh, American Kobe beef, is as you can see as well, marble I'm gonna take it out of the factory in a minute. It's a bone and rib by steak, 11 oaks, and you know, a couple different things you know, when you grill your steak. Make sure the grill is nice and hot and clean, and make sure the steak is out of room temperature, it should be out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to take it out of the package, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what a steak looks like. I took it out of the package. As you can see, it's under a small, nice marble. It's a lot of fat, but it's okay. It's going to cook off. Uh, sometimes uh, you can tell, sometimes people go to the grocery store and find a lean, lean, lean steak. That's not going to be the best steak there is. Uh, the nice steak needs some fat in it. Uh, fat's going to make it nice and juicy, it's going to make it moist. You want some fat in your in your meat. As you can see, it's nice marble inside. Look at how nice marble it is. It means it's not, it's fat that's between all the veins. It's going to make it really, really, really tender and tasty. As you can see, it's probably about an inch and a half thick. Yeah, like I said, make sure it's at room temperature when you cook it. And right now what I did, I rubbed some seasoning on it. The seasoning is uh, probably 10 or 11 ingredients in it. Thyme, garlic, paprika, salt, pepper, um, thyme, rosemary, you name it, there's a lot of ingredients. This same one we use for a lot of steaks that we're helping. All our chicken dishes, uh, it's a versatile uh, seasoning. Swiss shark, these are all Swiss sharks, they keep these little things. Swiss sharks like spinach, but then the better we use everything, we use the stems and everything there. So the, everything, everything is usable and it's, uh, it's a little bit on the better side. That's why you finish it off with a little balsamic vinegar. I cut up all the stems, wash it off real, real good. Very good to make sure you get all the sand out. Uh, as, you see, as you see, I separated all that. And I also took the leaves and I cut the leaves up in small pieces and uh, pretty much uh, washed it off real good also. I just set it on the side. So with, with that, I'm gonna do some nice onions, some nice garlic, and some other saute uh, with the stems first. And uh, it's gonna be a, a good side dish that I'm gonna serve with this steak. So the broiler is way up, I'm going to try to get all the way up to 600 degrees. It's about 575 right now, so as soon as I reach 600 degrees, I'm going to put them on the, put it on the grill. Most important thing about cooking a steak is make sure the temperature is hot, the grill is hot, make sure the steak is at room temperature, is not too cold, and don't overcook it. Uh, the way you can tell a steak when it's done is the softer it is, the rarer it is. So if you poke your finger in it, and this it doesn't bounce back up, it means it's rough. It bounces back up a little bit, it's about medium. If it doesn't bounce back up, it's hard as a rock, it means it's overcooked and you messed up. And everybody thought they're gonna forget, but we haven't forgot about it. The word of the day today in Portuguese is pequeno almoço. Pequeno almoço is breakfast. Pequeno almoço means breakfast. Small, small meal, pequeno almoço. It's the breakfast, it means breakfast. I want to, I'm gonna go all down and have pequeno almoço. Uh, breakfast. Uh, so uh, that's the word of the day. So we learn a lot of words now. So make sure that everybody who writes this down remembers it because it can be a quiz at the end. So for the Swiss sauce, we have to take this with a lot of oil, uh, garlic, onion, and the stems, and I'm going to start right Meanwhile, the boiler is at uh, 600 degrees right now. 
That's a little bit over 600 grit, so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to spray it, and I'm going to put the steak down. Make sure, make sure it's nice or not. After about three minutes, I like to flip it at the other angle, so I'm going to get the crisp off. And we want to put the potatoes in it. I'm going to put the potatoes in it. I'm going to sear the potatoes. I think you have to be careful when you do a steak because it's, it is marked marbling with that. You got to be careful with the flames, so it's not splitting up. Okay, we have all the stems and onions and garlic are nice and well in this saute, so I'm going to add the leaf. And we're going to flip the steak over. And nice and seared right now. That's how you want it. You want it to be nice and seared, nice golden brown. It didn't do the marks as much as I wanted to. Uh, but it's nice, nice feel, the nice grill marks on it, so it's very nice hot. So what happened now, all the juices were sealed inside the real, real good. I flip the potatoes over, so now the steaks and the potatoes are flipped over right now. I'm going to come back in about five minutes, the steaks should be ready, and the potatoes should be ready. I'm going to go inside and check the Swiss jar. Swiss jar is something right now. It's just going to break and always add a little water to it if you want to braise it and cover it up if you want to. See it's about ready right now. Just take the air and the salt. Put it in the cabinet and I'm going to finish up again in about 10 minutes later. Right now if I feel it, it's going to up a little bit. It's about medium rare right now. So I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to set it up. It's also important when you grill a steak, don't eat it right away, put it to the side. Let the rest of it and all the juices blend in. Otherwise, if you cut the steak right enough right now, all the inside juice will be squishy, squishy right now. So let the rest of it bit. And I'm going to present the steak in one plate for presentation, but I'm going to serve, <laughs> serve two people, so for me and my wife are going to share it. So I usually give it the, the best side that doesn't take what the other is. So I'll take this side and so I'll take the good side. See so nice. And this is what the final steak look like. This is half of the steak. And then the other half is over there. And we're showing a, a decanter of bottle of red wine, the Portuguese Doro, red. Uh, it's probably some sediment, of course, it's the 2004 Doro. So a decanter. And we're going to stay. And we'll get to look at my face. It's beautiful. So, see you soon.